Prince Scott Medical Center for LASIK Part 2 or Laser Assisted In Situ Keratomeliosis Procedure. And that is today is the operation day itself. Hope you guys remember that Zamil and Terence is the lucky one where they will be experiencing miracles today. They will be free of classes because they have been dependent on it for almost half of their life. So, Prof, why don't we join Zamil? Because Zamil needs to sign a consent letter. This is very interesting because he has to sign this consent letter because we need to shoot him today and he is giving us permission. Because it is a procedure, mm -hmm. so patients have to give the consent. Mm -hmm. Yes, and after reading all the uh, risks and complications of the surgery, then he has to agree. Okay, so it's already we can take him to the basic centre. So, how are you feeling? I feel excited but nervous at the same time because you know I've never experienced this before. Okay, so uh, what do you have to do before uh, prior to the operation day? Basically, I have to be you know off everything besides I mean you know um, not wearing any uh, some some sort of perfume, uh, deodorant or anything that has alcohol in it, and uh, I'm all natural today. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys want to know the reason why he's not wearing any creams, perfumes, makeups, if he's wearing any makeup, we don't want to have any risk of infection after the surgery. So, we all warm up. Are you warmed up? Yes, I'm uh, all ready to get rid of my glasses. Ah. Okay, alright. So, let's see <laughs> Zamil after the LASIK. A numbing drop will be placed in the eye and the area around the patient's eye will be clean. speculum will be used to hold the eyelids open. Then, a curved contact lens is placed only on the cornea and a mild suction is applied using a centosecond laser for 30 seconds to create the flap at the cornea. This is a gentle method in contrast with the traditional method whereby a high suction is applied to a bigger area of the eye and the patient will lose vision. Integrated system between Visumax and Eczema laser, the patient is then swiveled to the Eczema machine for a permanent reshaping of the cornea to correct the refractive error. Now in the less advanced machine, the patient have to get up and walk to the next machine with assistance. Patients even discovered that their eyesight have improved tremendously only minutes after the operation, while others are back to work the next day itself. Open your eyes now. Okay. As you can see, Zamil's done. So, how do you feel? How was the experience? Oh, it was uh, pretty 
surreal to begin with because you know I could see everything but I didn't feel anything so that was really good what made me really feel good was that you know the voice of the doctor guiding me the whole way through uh, it was really comforting and I felt really confident so right now I can see yay <laughs> I just have to wait to recover for a while so can you tell us any complication that we should be aware of during or after the surgery the complication is very very minimal Usually, most patients from almost 300 cases that we have done, where they are very steady, they do not move their eyes at all, they just remain fixating at the light, and uh, they just feel something touching them. And the complication occurs if the patient is not cooperative. But the machine that we have here have this additional measure of eye tracker system, where we actually register the eye. Should the patient move, the machine will automatically stop during the laser procedure. So it's very, very safe. So can you please tell us uh, what do you recommend as the post-operative care regimen for the patient after the surgery? After the surgery. So the first four hours after surgery, they feel a bit uh, warm sensation, a bit scratchy feeling because of the laser effect on the eye and uh, uh, some manoeuvre that we do on the eye. But usually after four hours, they can start to read normally and they can go home. So the post-op care is they must not rub the eye because remember we make a flap, we don't want it to shift and they are not to, supposed to swim or go into water or sauna or steam room for the next one month. Otherwise, they can do jogging as usual because it is a surface procedure. So the most important question of all, if somebody is interested in knowing more about LASIK, any reading materials or website that you recommend? Actually, if you Google LASIK femtosecond, there's a lot on them. Any, you know, so if you Google bladeless LASIK under femtosecond, then there's a lot to know about that. So it's very available everywhere. Just informed you, LASIK is a very safe eye corrective surgery for myopia and astigmatism. And don't forget to tell your doctors everything about your past and present medical and eye condition. And at the same time, tell your doctor what medication you are taking, even the over counter ones, and any medicine that you might be allergic to. So, Malaysia, stay healthy. I'm Yasmin, signing off. It's so scary, isn't it? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, Zamel, I salute you for going through such a procedure, although they say it's painless, but to watch it is somewhat a... Um, I mean, I, I feel like funny when Zamel said, I can see now. And I, I, I never knew that he's blind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being mean, Fariza? No, he's not but blind. That, was, like, that was amazing. And you know, it's good right. for Zamel. Right. Uh, but now, I, I, I like the glasses yeah. though. You look like a rock star, Zamel. Change your that, genre you know, of music. Changes, um, that, you know, now he has that three, 3D eyesight. 3D eyesight. <laughs> okay.